NLP is really useful for looking through EHR data. And so we've uh, started to work on a product uh, that's still in a, a sort of prototype phase, um, not, not out there on the market, don't have a, a real name for it yet. Uh, but it, it works uh, with uh, Indicia for admission documentation, or IAD, um, and it expands the capability within that software, uh, sometimes called Synapse. So I'll explain that first and then talk about what, what we're trying to build on top of that. Uh, so IAD uh, allows um, a utilization manager to really quickly see what information is coming from the EHR and how that can uh, meet with a guideline that they've already chosen. So if they're looking at a pneumonia guideline and we have vitals from the EHR that say somebody uh, is, has a heartbeat of 115 beats per minute, then we can say, okay, well, according to the guidelines, that's tachycardia. And so that indication for tachycardia is already met. Um, you can imagine that there are some indications that are not um, answered with, with data from st structured vitals or labs um, or diagnosis codes even. Right? So there could be um, sort of subtle indications where the only way to know whether or not they're met is in the actual um, clinical documentation within clinical notes. Um, and so that's where we can apply natural language processing. Uh, so if you look um, at the amount of time that's spent uh, looking through um, a note to decide whether or not something, you know, there's the correct documentation in there to, to add in to IID, um, the nurses end up spending a lot of time looking for things. And then once they find it, it's pretty simple to know, yeah, this matches or it doesn't match. This is applicable. I'm going to go ahead and move that over to my documentation. Um, and so that looked like a pretty clear case for a place to use um, natural language processing, to use AI, right, to, to automate something is that the search is both time consuming and also not really um, that complicated, right? It's not actually using um, that medical acumen sort of at top of license. I mean, it, the way that I think of it is that it requires um, medical knowledge, but it doesn't necessarily require medical decision making. Uh, so, uh, what we've created a prototype of um, is uh, an algorithm that's able to look at a guideline, know the context of the guideline, know the indications that are in the guideline, and then look at clinical text and go through and find all the places in the uh, in the clinical text where there's uh, something that's relevant to the guideline, and then essentially, you know, and from a user experience, it highlights it, right, or it tells you, hey, look in this note. So for instance, um, again, if you had a pneumonia guideline uh, and there's a mention of, um, say, loculated pleural effusion, we know that that's relevant to the pneumonia guideline because there's an indication about having you know, com more complicated pleural effusion. Loculated pleural effusion is a complicated pleural effusion. And so that would be highlighted in the text. So if you're working through that case, you can really quickly um, you know, get the guide, know it's a pneumonia guideline, get that put in there, and then it's just going to go ahead and show you, hey, look, there's some text I think that's, that is relevant to this and bring it up, right? And it still saves the user a lot of time, um, but then they still get to look and see, okay, yeah, this is actually relevant. This is actually should be part of the documentation. 